गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन गुड मॉर्निंग सर मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग सर Yes, beta. Have we all completed exercise seven point two? Yes, sir. We have completed seven point two. Seven point two lines. Seven point two or seventeen? Seventeen. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. Seventeen point two. Uh, just a minute. Let me check. Lines are not working. So yes, yes, so we have completed. So draw the line segment of the given length. Ah. So yesterday in the last, you were saying that to today means tomorrow we will understand the angles, different kinds of angles. so yeah, i will show you another video which will give you a very good idea of angles and everything about angles that we have to study in this chapter will be explained in that video Okay. Okay, everyone. Uh, I'm going to share my screen. I'm showing you a video. Okay. Just a second. I'm sharing the screen. All of you, are you all ready? Yes, sir. Yes. Angles are part of our daily lives. Can you all hear the sound and see the video? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. But do you know? Angles are used in cricket and football too. Welcome to KID Company with Kabir, Isha, and Dhruv. I am Azan, and today we will learn introduction to angles, measuring an angle using a protractor, different types of angles, constructing an angle using a protractor. Let's go and learn how angles can be a part of our everyday sports. When playing football, your ultimate aim is to score a goal. Believe me, if you study your opponent properly and know your kicks, your angles, it is very easy to better your game and be a great footballer. Do you get it? Yes, sir. Now, let's get off for the match. You all have 20 minutes. Then we all meet here again for our warm-up game, okay? Yes, sir. Great. coach yeah but he's a great teacher sometimes i don't understand what he says hmm 
He was saying something about angles. I wonder what that is. Tada! Of course, why fear? When Dhruv is here. What is it? Angles. If I'm not wrong. Yes, our coach was telling us about kicks and something about angles. How are they related? Every sport works on mathematical principles, especially angles. Let me explain. When two rays meet at one common point, an angle is formed. We can see angles formed by different objects around us. The hands of a clock. The arms of the divider in your geometry box. The edges of a table. The two rays which form the angle are called the arms of the angle. The common point where the rays meet is called the vertex of the angle. Look at these rays, AB and AC. They form an angle between them. So, both ray AB and ray AC are the arms of the angle. Point A is the vertex of the angle. This is the symbol used for an angle. Every angle is given a name. An angle can be named using three letters. The middle letter is always the vertex of the angle. We can name the given angle as angle BAC or angle CAB. The same angle can also be named by its vertex as angle A. The space between the arms of the angle is called the interior of the angle and the space outside the angle is called the exterior of the angle. So in this clock, these are the arms of the angle and the point where the arms meet is the vertex. Easy, isn't it? Now let's go back and learn about different types of angles. But the coach said that know your kicks, your angles. How many angles are there to know? There are numerous angles, but broadly we classify them according to their measure. An angle is not measured with respect to the length of its arms. Instead, it is measured in terms of the amount of turns taken between the two arms of an angle. The unit used to measure an angle is degree. This is the symbol used for degree. We use an instrument called the protractor to measure an angle. You can find it in your geometry box. The protractor has two sets of measurements written on it. These are called scales. There is an inner scale and an outer scale both having 0 degree to 180 degree in opposite directions. The midpoint of the baseline is called the center point. Let us measure the given angle, angle ABC given here. Step 1. Place the center point of the protractor over the vertex B of the angle and place the baseline exactly over the bottom line of the angle. Step 2. Look at the arm on the baseline. It points to 0 on the inner scale. Thus, we need to measure the angle on the inner scale. Step 3. Read the measurement on the scale where the other arm of the angle and the scale meet. The scale and the arm meet at 90 degree. Thus, the angle measures 90 degrees. An angle measuring 90 degree is called a right angle. The capital letter L in the alphabet is one example of a right angle. The corners of your school blackboard also make a right angle. That's one type of angle. Let us learn about other types of angles. An angle whose measure is more than 0 degree but less than 90 degree is called an acute angle. Try to form a small V using your palms. It will form an acute angle. 
The hands of the clock at 2 o'clock, blades of a scissor are all examples of acute angles. An angle whose measure is more than 90 degree but less than 180 degrees is called an obtuse angle. The hands of a clock at 4 o'clock, the angle formed by the Japanese fan shown are examples of obtuse angles. An angle whose measure is 180 degree is called a straight angle. If two right angles are kept next to one another, they form a straight angle. A pencil or a pen, the edge of a ruler or the book are examples of straight angles. An angle which measures 360 degree is called a complete angle. When the arms of an angle takes one full turn, it is a complete angle. So when he says know your angles, he means he meant that if you lift the ball with your kick in a certain angle, it will drift into the goal post in a certain way. Oh, so what angle? Acute or obtuse? That depends on your position in the field. Oh, on paper, it is very easy to make these angles. Like if you want to draw an obtuse angle measuring 120 degrees, you first draw a ray. Let us draw a ray AB. Place the center point of the protractor on point A, such that the baseline of the protractor lies exactly on ray AB. Find the division of 120 degrees along the scale whose zero degree mark lies on ray AB. Mark a point against the measure and name it C. Remove the protractor and draw a ray from the vertex A through point C using a ruler. Thus, we have angle CAB measuring 120 degrees. And if you know the basics on paper properly, then making great angles with great kicks on the field will not be a problem. Uh, uh, I think it will be a problem. Huh? Because the coach is already here. He said don't be late. Did not realize the time only. Run, Bunty, run! I, I hope he doesn't yell. I just hope he lets us play. <laughs> I am waiting to see what the coach does. Okay, so what all you learned from the video? What did you learn? Okay, sorry. Yeah. Look Sir, I understand that how to measure the angle. How to measure angle. How to me measure the angles mm -hmm. and what kinds of angles are there and how we used to form those angles. Mm -hmm. Okay, what are different types of angles? How to measure angles, how to construct angles using a protector. All these things, yes, sir. Yes, okay. so thoda bhot animation may be kar leta hu. Let me show you. Explain all the types of angles again. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm going to draw. An angle. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so so do you all know what is a right angle? It was explained in the video. Right angle is the angle which is uh, which is forming the shape of the letter L of English alphabet. Letter L jahan ban jata hai. like this. The angle between 
दिस अच्छा पहले तो एंगल क्या होता है द एंगल इज द एक्चुअली द इंक्लिनेशन ऑफ वन रे विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द अदर इंक्लिनेशन मतलब एक तरीके से कि ये दो रेज हैं नाउ दीज आर टू रेज इन दोनों रेज के बीच में आपको दिख रहा है कि ये गैप जो है वो कभी बड़ा हो रहा है कभी छोटा हो रहा है है ना आई एम मूविंग दिस रे ये कभी बड़ा कभी छोटा हो रहा है सो so, एक रे तो अपनी पोजीशन पे फिक्स है नीचे वाली जो रे है दैट इज फिक्स है ना वो थोड़ी हिल रही है ये ऊपर वाली रे हिल रही है तो जो नीचे वाली रे है वो कह रही है कि आ, मैं तो आई एम स्ट्रेट आई एम फाइन मैं सीधी हूँ वो ऊपर वाली रे से कह रही है कि तुम टेढ़ी हो so, तो फर्स्ट वाली रे जो कह रही है जो मैं सीधी हूँ और तुम टेढ़ी हो तो उसके रेस्पेक्ट में सेकेंड वाली रे कितनी टेढ़ी है उसके रेस्पेक्ट में देखेंगे कि सेकेंड वाली रे अभी थोड़ी कम टेढ़ी है थोड़ी ज्यादा टेढ़ी हो गई सो दिस इज नोन एज दी एंगल ठीक है सो दिस इज नोन एज इंक्लिनेशन इसी को बोलते हैं इंक्लिनेशन की एंगल की डेफिनेशन क्या हो गई द इंक्लिनेशन ऑफ टू रेस इंक्लिनेशन ऑफ वन रे विद रेस्पेक्ट टू दर दैट इज नोन एज एंगल ठीक है सो दिस नाउ शेप एल ये कौन सा एंगल हुआ दिस इज नोन एज 90 डिग्री एंगल व्हिच इज आल्सो नोन एज आर राइट एंगल ओके फाइन ओके सर एंड एनी एंगल नाउ अब मैं देखो इधर देखो अब मैं ये पीछे चला जाऊंगा तो दीज ऑल एंगल्स आर स्मॉलर देन 90 ये एंगल मैंने 90 से छोटा कर दिया 90 से छोटा कर दिया एंगल सो so, ये जो एंगल व्हेनेवर यू मेक एन एंगल व्हिच इज लेस देन 90 That angle will be known as acute angle. क्या बुलाएंगे उसको Acute angle. Yeah. Acute angle. Hmm. And if you again, let's come back to 90 degree angle. And if you make an angle which is greater than 90, अब ये angle 90 से बड़ा हो गया. So when you make an angle which is greater than 90, that angle will be known as क्या बुलाएंगे उस angle को When the angle is greater than 90, क्या बुलाते हैं नहीं याद आया ऑप्टूस एंगल वॉट डू बी कॉल इट ऑप्टूस एंगल वेरी गुड एक्सीडेंट एंड अब 90 से थोड़े और बड़ा चले गए 90 प्लस नाइन्टी कितना होता है 90 प्लस नाइन्टीडल स्ट्रेट एंगल दैट मीन्स स्ट्रेट लाइन बन जाएगी इसलिए उसको बोलते हैं स्ट्रेट एंगल एंड वॉट इज दर ऑफ दिस एंगल वॉट इज द मेजर ऑफ दिस एंगल वन एटी डिग्री वन एटी डिग्री नाइनटी प्लस नाइनटी वन एटी डिग्री एंड अब मैं देखना ध्यान से ये यहाँ से पूरा घूम के मैं वापस यही पर आ जाता हूँ so this angle will be called as whole angle so whole angle whole angle ya fir complete angle ya fir complete angle generally complete angle bolte hain theek hai to complete angle is a very frequent term used used very frequently whole angle itni jaldi use nahi karte hain to dono hi aapko pata hona chahiye complete angle and the measure of this angle is 360 degrees kitna hota hai 360 degrees यानी कि जिस पॉइंट से चले उसी पॉइंट पे घूम के दोबारा से वापस आ गए सो दैट इज 360 डिग्रीज क्लियर एवरीवन अंडरस्टूड यस सर एंगल्स के बारे में सब कुछ समझ में आ गया यस यस सर सर वेरी गुड सो मेरे मैंने भी थोड़ा बहुत एनिमेशन सीख लिया सो so, अच्छा लगा मेरा एनिमेशन आपको Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very good. Okay, so all of you, now what you have to do? You have to open this uh, page. Ah, one hundred thirty-four. One hundred thirty-four. you will write down the heading types of angles
we will write down the heading types of angles and in this please put a put a tick mark in your books only pehle ek tick mark lagaiye note baad mein karna aapko pencil se tick mark lagate jao right angle pe tick mark lagao you have to write down the definition to zero pe bhi lagao beta zero angle pe bhi lagaiye जीरो एंगल पे टिक लगाओ पेज नंबर वन थर्टी फोर राइट डाउन द डेफिनेशन ड्रॉ द फिगर राइट एंगल पे लगाइए एक्यूट एंगल पे लगाइए ऑप्टूस एंगल पे टिक लगाइए स्ट्रेट एंगल पे लगाइए एंड होल एंगल पे लगाइए Okay, so draw these angles and uh, write down the definitions. Clear? Yeah. Okay, sir. Okay, start doing. Here, our voice is not coming. Okay, sir. Beta, I am writing it on the sir. board. Anji. Sir, with the definition, we also have to the diagrams. Yes, you have to draw the figures also. Okay, sir. Zero angle, right angle. Beta, ये सारी definitions लिखनी है मेहुल. Acute angle, obtuse angle. और कौन सा था बेटा और कोई रह गया सब होल एंगल होल एंगल बाकी सब हो गए सर स्ट्रेट एंगल होल एंगल एंड स्ट्रेट एंगल ये लिखने हैं आपको अंडरस्टूड मेहुल डेफिनेशंस ऑफ ऑल दिस ओके सर 